Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install XMP web server on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. First of all, open your favorite browser and search for XAMPP. So just search for XAMPP and just press enter. And in here, first option hopefully which will appear here will be from ApacheFriends.org. So just click this link and uh, this will open uh, this website which is apachefriends.org and if you want to change the language you can change the language from here for example i want uh, english version of uh, xm so just change the language and now you can see uh, the download options here so we want the option which is for windows so i will choose xm for windows so just click it and once you click it the download will start for uh, this XMP web server. Now it's a relatively uh, big file, so it will take some time to uh, download this XMP executable file. So you just need to wait for maybe a few minutes, and once it's downloaded, we can go further. So I will wait for the download, and once it will be downloaded, we will uh, see the next steps. So now my download for uh, this XAMPP executable file for Windows is complete, so I can run this executable file. So just click run to execute this executable file, and I'm going to minimize my browser and i will wait for the installation to start so first of all it will give you this kind of uh, warning you just need to click yes and then it's going to start the installation wizard for uh, the xmp so just wait for uh, one or two seconds and then the installation will start So now uh, I can see these kind of warnings. So don't worry about these warnings. They will come while you are installing the exam server. So you just need to click OK for these warnings. So you may be, uh, you know, see seeing multiple warnings in your case, but it's uh, nothing to worry about. You can just uh, click OK to uh, proceed further, right? Now you will be able to see this kind of uh, setup interface for XAMPP. So you just need to click next. And these are uh, the programs or apps which will come with your XAMPP web server. So Apache will come, MySQL, FileZera, Mercury, Mail Server will come and Tomcat will come. And uh, the program which will uh, come with it is uh, PHP and Perl. And also, it will come with PHP MyAdmin for man managing your MySQL and uh, other uh, you know options you can see. So it's a good idea to leave them as default. All the checkboxes checked, and then click next. And this will be the location where XMP will be installed. So just keep uh, this location in mind. We are going to access XMP from this location. So in my case, it's C colon slash XMP. Okay. So just click next and click next and click next and just wait for uh, some time to, uh, you know, complete the installation. So it's going to take some time. So just uh, wait for the installation to complete. Once this green progress bar reaches 100%, then we are going to go further now in between you will see this kind of uh, warning or alert window you just need to allow the access so just click allow access and uh, just wait for the installation to complete okay so now the installation for uh, the XMP web server is complete and uh, now after the completion it will ask you whether you want to start the control panel for the XMP to start so just leave this checkbox as checked and click finish okay and once you click finish it's going to start the control panel for your uh, XMP web server so the language I want to choose is English so I will just save this uh, language and then it's going to start this type of control panel for XMP right now in here you can see uh, different kind of services 
uh, and the status of these services uh, if they are running or not so to start apache web server what we need to do is we just need to click start and it's going to start the apache web server on port 80 right now sometimes what happens is generally if you have other programs installed and uh, sometimes this port 80 is occupied by some other uh, programs then you may need to change this port right so in my case uh, this port 80 is not occupied by any other uh, program so it's successfully running but in uh, most of the cases this port 80 is uh, occupied by some other programs so how to change it and first of all how to check it so the simple way to check if this port 80 is occupied or not is just click this button which says netstat so i'm going to just uh, click netstat and it will show you all the ports which are uh, occupied by some programs so you can see right now port 80 is occupied by my apache web server but it will show you the description of all the services which are occupying some ports right so you can detect which uh, app is occupying this right now in order to uh, change this port for example i want to change this port from uh, port 80 to port 80 80 or something else what i can do is i can just click this config uh, button here and it's going to show me some options uh, for Con file and the other files I want to choose this first option which is httpd.conf so just click the first option and it's going to show you uh, this kind of a text file now when you scroll down you can see here the Apache web server is listening on port 80 which is this one right so in order to change the port simply you just need to uh, write the number of port which you want to uh, you know uh, run the Apache on so for example I want to change it to 8080 just change this uh, one to 8080 and then save this file for example I'm going to just change it here just in case and then I'm going to just save this file and once this file is saved you can once again stop your Apache web server and start it again and now you will be able to see you see here now Apache is running on port 8080 right so if you face some problem just uh, change this uh, port from here okay so I'm going to just revert my changes so it will remain default here and this also port 80 and I'm going to save it again right and I'm going to close it and I will restart my Apache server so, so stop my server and restart it and now it's running on port 80 okay so once this is done what we need to do next is I will just open my uh, browser and in here I will uh, just uh, enter the local host okay so now because my apache web server is running so i can uh, just uh, you know enter localhost and check if it's really running or not so i will just write here local host and i will just uh, choose this option which says http colon slash slash localhost and it's going to show this kind of uh, web page which is for XMP web server right so this is the welcome page for your XMP web server okay so now we can uh, see that our XMP web server is running uh, successfully and uh, once you see this web page then you know that everything is okay in your Apache web server now let's try to open PHP my admin so I will click this option which says PHP my admin and uh, when I click this it's going to show me error because I haven't started my MySQL option from here so once again open your control panel and then uh, just start this MySQL from here so just click this second button which says start 
and once your mysql is started then just click here allow access and once this is done you can refresh this page and now you will be able to see your uh, php my admin also so let's see what happens for this php my admin so it's going to open this kind of php my admin interface okay so you just need to uh, start the you know apps which you want to run from here now in case uh, this will be uh, port uh, 80 then what will happen so for example i will change this uh, apache to listen on port 8080 for example instead of 80 port 8080 so just convert to port 8080 and i will just save this so i'm going to just save this and once this is saved i'm going to close this and i will stop my apache web server and restart it again okay and now it listens on port 8080 and now this time when i go to the browser and i will uh, just write local host here and i will click ok it's going to give me uh, some uh, unknown web page because this is now listening on port 8080 and not the default 80 port so you just need to write after localhost colon and then port 8080 the port you are using here right so whatever port you have provided you just need to uh, write here after the colon and press enter and then you will be able to see your apache or xamp home page okay so this is how you can uh, download and install xamp web server on your windows 10 operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now